Hi guys. This is a good example of how my mind can switch from one thing to another quite easily. I originally started going through my bits and pieces because I was going to use this wire here which is from a hair dryer and it's that sort of wire that you can heat up and use for a hot wire foam cutter. So that's where I started going. I then found some of my nanocopter bits and I then remembered that Pirate Caribbean, I think he calls himself, suggested I should make a car using a candle and a Peltier model module. Um, and I thought, well, that little motor there, off the end of the nanocopter, if I stick a wheel on the shaft, and then use my Peltier tile that I had laying around here, there'll probably be enough power generated from that with a candle to run that little motor and with that gearing it ought to run that wheel and push a car along if I keep the car light enough. So I've got this little plastic car that originally had a little pullback motor in it. My plan is to convert that to a three-wheeler with that wheel sticking out the middle of it to push it along. Stick a tea light on the back there and have a little bracket over the top of it so it heats up the Peltier tile. Now these work a lot better if you've got a heat sink on the opposite side, but I don't think I've got a heat sink laying around anywhere at the moment, so it'll just have to heat up and make do with natural air convection. So it's not going to be as powerful as it could be. But that's the plan. Just very quickly, going back to the uh, hot wire cutter, I will eventually get round to making that. I've only been planning to do it for about two years now. Uh, under there is a solar panel that you use for charging a 12 volt battery, or topping up a 12 volt battery. I've got a 12 volt battery sitting down in my shed that one of my relatives gave me. I've just tested the output on it and it's been sitting there for probably a year and it's still giving me 12.3 volts so I think it's a good battery. So that will be something else that I'll be doing. But tonight this will be one of my, I think I call them Frankenstein um, cars or Frankenstein projects where I put together bits from completely unrelated um, items and try and make something that works out of them. So this will become a three-wheeler with a Peltier tile to provide the power and a candle to heat it up to drive the little motor that's come out of a nanocopter that's still got the gearing on it and pushing the wheel or turning the wheel. Cut a hole in the bottom of the car chassis, super glued my nanocopter motor in place and a little bit of plastic there to hold the other end of the shaft. I think I've got the height about right. I shall use this galvanised wire to make up a little frame to support the Peltier tile. When it's up together haven't got a tea light for it yet, but if I hold my soldering iron to it,
visible. I'm not sure if it's visible. There we go. So, I'll replace my soldering iron with a tea light. Tea light in place. <laughs> Whoa! That was the um, lighter that actually got that going then. Let's go under there. Yeah, it's going fine. So that's our candle powered or tea light powered car. Pretty low power because that's stopped on a little bit of unevenness on the floor. Put the wheels going. It really needs a proper heat sink on top so you get a proper difference between the top and the bottom because once this warms up on top then you haven't got the temperature difference between top and bottom. <laughs> 